Hey guys, so today I'm going to be working on a few things on the Fox, getting it ready for the weekend. Um, one of the things I'd like to do is go ahead and install my second fuel pump. Also, I'm going to make a few changes to the tune. I'd like to raise my timing up a little bit and my low RPMs, that way I can get it up on the converter a little bit better. Uh, I'm just trying to get ready because we got uh, Yellow Bullet Nationals coming up at the end of the month and uh, the car is consistently a low 10 second car, but I have to sit on the trans brake for a good three to four seconds on the line. That's not going to work when you're in a class environment like that. People are going to get right up on the line and they're going to be ready to go right away. It's not going to give me a chance to uh, build any boost. And so I'm going to try and get it the best I can without a bump box. I mean, I am searching for a used bump box in the meantime, but until I find one, this is the best I can do. Now, I'm not really going to go over a lot of the HP tuner stuff because um, I'm not really really in depth with it I'm just gonna make a few slight changes to my timing and I've talked to my tuner about that uh, Joe Jensen and Jensen's performance and he agreed go ahead and try it and see what it does uh, then we're gonna add the fuel pump in and probably do a couple street pulls and we'll see where we're at as far as getting it up on the trans brake but yeah alright let's get the uh, fuel pump put in and then we'll get it to the track okay guys this fuel pump should be really easy to change out I should have to take this 8AN fitting off Take these Allen keys off, take my positive and negative wires off of the fuel pump, and then uh, we'll pull the assembly out and see how we're going to tee this in to the current assembly and get it all attached on the same uh, sending unit. she comes right out that's one thing I do like having about a fuel cell is the easy removal of a fuel pump even though you lose most of your trunk space it's still really nice for accessibility reasons um, and so what we're gonna do with the next pump is try and get it right next to this one and then we have to tee into this fuel line all right so as you can see here I have the old fuel pump off of the uh, sending unit and uh, you can see they use these really nice clamps on them. So I'm going to have to go to the auto parts store, pick a couple of those up because those are high pressure clamps. Um, you also need a special tool to close those. I'm going to wind up doing it like this. Uh, as you can see, I got two of the same pump. They're two 340s. AEM, or I should say uh, Aeromotive, actually sells these two fuel pumps on a sending unit already made to put in your car. It's pretty expensive though. It comes out around, uh, I think, like 800 bucks. And um, that's why I chose to just buy a single pump and add it on because the pump itself is only like 120 bucks shipped. Um, I've had it sitting for a while, so I figured I would just finally add it on. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to weld, since this is a steel, I'm going to weld a piece in the center and I'm going to weld a piece coming off the bottom to be kind of like stop these. And then I can wrap them with the uh, same type of hose clamps that were used to hold it on to begin with. But hopefully they stay in place a little bit better. And um, then I have to butt connect one of these plugs in for this fuel pump. I'm going to run them off the same positive because I have a really heavy cable ran for the fuel pump. And um, I'm also going to solder them too because I'm not big on just butt splice. And I like soldering the butt splices. So that should take care of that. Also, uh, here's the steel. We're going to have to cut a piece off of this. And that's what will get welded onto this bracket here. So, Okay guys, so here it is. Um, as you can see in the center here, I have my little T bracket that I welded in and has a plate on the bottom so that it holds the bottom of the two pumps together and um, it has both filters on it. All I have to do is get a T for this. You can see I soldered and heat shrink these connections together and I just ran them uh, off of each other. And um, all I gotta do is get a T and put it back in and we're good to go.
can see. Uh, here is the fuel pump assembly completed. Um, both fuel pumps have a 5 16 hose into a 3 8 barb that I got off of eBay for about $8. That took about three days to come in. And then I switched out the top fitting. Um, it's originally a 1 8 MPT thread to a 5 16 hose barb. I switched it out for a uh, 1 8 MPT to a 3 8 hose barb and then drilled the inside out slightly for a little bit more flow. That way I'm hoping this, uh, both of these pumps going through that Y um, should be a good flow going through there. Um, I don't like this type of Y actually, like a, a perfect, uh, almost like a P sign Y. Um, I prefer where these two ends are like really close together because the flow is more even and, and these two channels don't hit each other and then flow up. But this is all I could get really quickly that will fit in here without you know having a tremendous lead time. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this back in. And then this weekend we're going to try it on the track. And we might do a little tuning on it first because obviously with more pressure it's going to be a little bit more rich. But uh, yeah, so this is how you do the dual fuel pump setup. Okay guys, now that we got the fuel pump in, uh, you'll notice this is backwards because in order to fit both of the filters next to each other, um, inside the area that's boxed off in the tank, we had to turn this backwards because there was more room out along the front. Um, so just flip the positive and negative, which is no big deal. I just pulled a little extra wiring out, uh, wired it up. Now we're good to go. Now the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything with the car is I'm going to turn the car on and check the fuel pressure because now you have two pumps, so it's going to create more pressure. So that's the first thing we're going to do is adjust the fuel pressure. So that's it, guys. That's how I did the dual fuel pump setup. Um, if you have any questions, drop a comment. Um, if you like it, hit the like button. We're, hopefully we're going to get her into the nines now. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.